Hello, everyone. I'm speaking with you today on a matter which is uh, incredibly important, uh, and that has to do with the protection of Bevis Mark Synagogue. Some of you may have heard about our objection to the building at 33 Cree Church Lane. 33 Cree Church is this building right here, and as you can see, it's just four meters uh, away from uh, Bevis Mark Synagogue. Uh, and so we really appreciate everyone that's reached out and objected you know, to all of the, the impact that this building is going to have. Um, unfortunately, we now uh, need to object to another building um, at uh, just down the lane over here at 31 Berry Street. So the building that you can just see at the end over there, currently about, I don't know, eight stories high, uh, proposed building 46 stories high. And what I'd like to do is to share with you uh, a bit of data about that so that you can effectively object uh, to that building as well and to really understand why it's so important uh, that we stop these buildings um, and that we do everything we can to protect uh, this incredibly important heritage site. Obviously for the Jewish community, it's you know, the oldest synagogue uh, in the United Kingdom. You know, as I often express, people who are not of the Jewish faith, you know, just as important as St. Paul's is to people of the Christian faith. That's what Bevis Marks means for the Jewish community as well as the beginning of Jewish life uh, here in uh, the UK. Um, and so uh, we need to afford that same level of protection and care with the significance of this site as we would do to a site, you know, like St. Paul's. And so I'm going to share with you a few things uh, right now. The first is an image of Cree Church uh, showing what this proposed building would look like. This is going to be 21 stories uh, just on the doorstep of Bevis Marks. Um, and Berry House, which is you know, a bit further away, just the end of the lane, while a bit more distant, is going to be perhaps even more severe because it's going to be 46 stories tall. Um, and I want you to see what that is going to look like. And what you can see is that Essentially, between these two buildings, there is going to be a wall uh, across this entire area. Uh, and so from 9 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon, uh, the synagogue is going to be in shadows uh, that entire time. And so any sunlight that we enjoy in our courtyard, certainly the effects of that sunlight on the interior of the synagogue, um, all of that is going uh, to be lost. Um, what I'd like to share with you is some uh, imaging that shows that overshadowing effect, uh, starting with Cree Church um, and then showing how it will affect from Berry House uh, as well. This first photo shows the impact of Cree Church on the synagogue. So Cree Church is to the east of the synagogue, and so its impact will be during the morning hours. Uh, these photos show you what that impact will be at 10.30 in the morning. And so on the left, you can see what, how it currently will be at 10.30. The synagogue is you know, in full light uh, at that time. And then the picture on the right shows how the synagogue will be impacted should that building um, be built. And you can see that the synagogue is now completely uh, in its shadow. So that is quite clear. Now the second photo uh, is showing the impact of Berry House. Berry House is kind of to the southeast of the synagogue. So as the sun continues it's a move across the sky as we get into the early afternoon, it will then feel the effects uh, from Berry House. And so here you can see again, uh, the picture on the left shows that, you know, at this time there will be, you know, no blockage of light uh, on the synagogue. Um, but on the right shows you again the shadow that will be cast from Berry House um, should, it be, uh, should it be built. And so once again, uh, very clearly you can see the effects you know, that both of these buildings will have on the synagogue uh, throughout the morning uh, to early afternoon. This video that I'm going to share with you now uh, shows uh, kind of what that will look like from within the courtyard itself, showing just the effects of Cree Church, but you can extend it uh, to how that would be from Berry House as well. In the first video, you can see the trajectory of the sun completely in view the entire time. The second video you can see with the new building there, the sun will be blocked throughout the morning. Now something else that's important and that we've kind of come to appreciate is the impact on the lane itself. Now, obviously the lane abuts the eastern side of the synagogue, which is the direction 
that Jews pray. Uh, and so this is, you know, kind of the holiest side of the, uh, of the synagogue. And typically, this is a very quiet lane. You can see nobody's uh, coming by over here. Uh, and, but any sound that's made on this lane can be heard inside uh, the synagogue and certainly inside my house. This is uh, what's known as the Beatles house. It's, it's now the rabbi's house. And anything that happens out here, I hear, whether it's during the day or 11 o'clock at night, um, everything can be heard down below. Now, the building here at Cree Church has proposed that they're going to be putting in a, uh, a bike storage uh, right over here. And so you're talking about, you know, potentially 100, you know, people coming with bicycles, waiting over here, going inside, um, and that noise of people kind of biking up and down the lane. And then I want you to appreciate what's going to be happening down at, Cree at Berry House, where they're expecting to put in several hundred spots for bikes. And so you're just going to have hundreds, potentially hundreds of bicycles, you know, coming up and down over here. To add to that, at the end of this lane over here, they're planning to create essentially an arcade to go directly through um, the, what the current building is. So there'll be kind of an opening at the, at the bottom floor and then obviously the 46 stories above. Um, and there'll be shops that are gonna be put in over there. And so this will essentially become from a, you know, a quiet little alley into essentially a major thoroughfare of people kind of passing in and out this all day and into late evening with uh, there being you know, shops and things at the end as well. So in a lot of ways, you know, these buildings and, and Berry House now in particular is going to be uh, really just uh, inappropriate you know, to, to be placed in such close proximity to such an important site. Um, and what I want to kind of leave you with is imagining, you know, you walk into the courtyard at Bevis Mark Synagogue, which right now is this place of tranquility and quiet. Uh, you look up, you see the synagogue, you see, you know, the sky around it. Um, when you come into the courtyard, if that building gets built, you're going to walk in and the only thing you will see all around the synagogue will be that building at Berry House. When you walk further into the courtyard and turn to the side, you'll then see the creature building. And so that building at 46 stories will forever be the image that people have when they come into our courtyard. With looking up, they will not be able to see the sky until they crane their heads completely. Uh, and we will essentially be walled in uh, all around, blocking off the entire uh, view of the sky. Uh, and it will forever change the experience within the synagogue. And so uh, I'm going to ask you to look at the comments down below on this uh, video where you can see kind of written out, you know, these concerns uh, with uh, details on where you can uh, voice your objection. Uh, and we ask that you please object uh, immediately. This time is very short now for us to be able to now object to the second building. So we ask that please, uh, by the first week of January, so hopefully now, even during the end of December, please uh, voice your objection. Please God, with uh, everybody working together, uh, we will be able to uh, put a stop to this, uh, to this construction, and we will preserve and protect our synagogue uh, for another century to come. Thank you.